Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as the Ice Court going up against Kugath Plaguefather. Where the guy says that he's tried this a bunch of times, and he ends up losing just by a little bit. So he just can't seem to get that little bit more efficiency in there to, to win this battle. Because, generally speaking, Nurgle in this sort of situation isn't too difficult to deal with. But they've got a few things in here that make it a bit troublesome. For one thing, they've got a Soul Grinder. Soul Grinders of Nurgle are essentially an artillery piece. They can just obliterate infantry lines really easily. They don't have that much ammunition though, but they can still do a lot of damage. There's a fair few rot flies. Those can also be a problem. Um, plague bearers are no threat whatsoever. And uh, they've just got a few monster units in here. Now, he said that he tried doing it with out control large army, but that didn't work. But I still think that not controlling a large army here is the right course of action. Because we don't really want all of these troops coming in all at the same time. Uh, denying, what's that, 14 of their units in exchange for three Kosovoid Dervishes, I feel like that's fair. Now, the downside to this is that our reinforcements will actually show up at the same location as their reinforcements. It's not good, but if our reinforcements can come in after their reinforcements, that would be better. Uh, it just We just have to not get any unit wiped out until they're entirely in here, which might take a while. Anyway, let's jump in here and see how we go. Or at the very least, just not have their reinforcements and our reinforcements coming at the same time. That's going to be very difficult to control, though. Another thing is uh, Kugath. He's essentially an artillery piece and a spellcaster and decent in melee. We need to try to take away his artillery capacities. And um, we do start off with one cavalry, the winged lancers. And that's not highly valuable in terms of repelling their forces. It could be good for recapping points. But if we can get Kugath to shoot at it, there's a chance we can waste a fair bit of that ammunition. Alright, Bouncer Power is not too bad to begin with, but they've got way more reinforcements than we do. So rank 7 on this dude. Rank 2. 10, okay. Got some items on him. Alright, how should we go about this? So this settlement type here is pretty common within Kislev. This is a very good defensive position, arguably one of, I think one of the best defensive positions in the game. The big downside though is that if you're getting overrun in this position here, uh, you don't have far to, you basically got your backs to the wall. Um, okay, so this one we're gonna have come out. I think I'll build a shrine here. It would be better for me to increase our melee defense rather than decrease their melee attack because um, we just want them to dish out as little damage as possible. Reducing their melee attack by 15% because they've got low melee attack, that's only going to reduce their points by like, I don't know, one or two points. Whereas because we've got high melee defense, we can boost our stats by more than two or three points and uh, you know, we'll, we'll just basically reduce their hit rate lower by increasing our melee defense as opposed to decreasing their melee attack. But, what we should do to begin with is make sure that all of our tr most trashy units are at the front. So we got some Empire units here, that means that there is a um, outpost here from someone. Uh, put in the Empire units here first, just in case Kugath decides to shoot them first. And put the Sargard in an, in an area where the artillery couldn't possibly hit him. Uh, I'd like to keep the Ice Guard as far back as possible to make it as difficult as possible for the, um, the Soul Grinders. What we want the Soul Grinders to be shooting at is just, like, trash. But, we have to keep in mind that the, uh, the Plague Drones of Nurgles are going to be coming in first. So that has to be dealt with. Okay, just keep them in the reserve to begin with. Now, in, t in terms of defending this uh, hill here, we actually want to defend the top of the hill, not the bottom. Because if we defend the bottom of the hill, the tower can't shoot. <laughs> it's actually obstructed. But if it's, uh, we're fighting right here, um, the tower shoots. And the tower is worth more than a hill advantage, which... Seems silly, but that's just how it is. Alright, we also have a tiny little bit more 
supplies. I could build a, just like a weak tower over here. It won't do much. But... Maybe that one there might even be better. It'll delay us building this first tower here. But this one will start shooting earlier. Usually I don't do that, but I really want to inflict some damage on the melee, especially on the um, soul grind. Although, this tower here is more of an anti-infantry tower. So maybe it's not worth it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hang on. I got an even better idea. Why not, instead of building one tower, we build two towers? Because this structure here only takes 30 seconds to build, when I get the 400 needed for that, I'll build it. Whereas towers take 90 seconds to build. You just need to make sure that you're not standing on top of it, or else it'll go white and you can't build on it. But I think we'll have time, because Nurgle's slow. So this is just there to thin them out just that little bit while they're on the approach. Alright, and let's see how we go. So what we're going to do over here, try to get Kugat's attention. Use the trees as a bit of cover. Hopefully the Plague Toads don't come after us, but it kind of looks like they're going to. Okay. Dodge that shot. Did we dodge it? Nice. Yeah, so he's got his Necrotic Missiles, meaning double shot. Oh, God damn it! Why does it do this? Skirmish mode on some of the units. Why? Alright. Plague drones came in early, which was very stupid of them, but... We were ready. Okay, we got enough for this. Yeah, we want the monument first. Got hit. Alright, I need to get away from the Plague Toads of Nurgle first, lose their aggro, and then go back and regain Kugat's aggro again. Could you shoot at the uh, Plague Drones? Okay, we should also try to put everyone on guard mode. So, you know, they do a bit of damage. But about so there, there we go. The monument's built. Can move in a little bit closer there now. Damn, I don't want the. Oh, hang on, hang on. Kugat's still coming out that way. That's not too bad. Yeah, just get away from them a bit longer. All right, how are we going here? It's taking them a while to get rid of them. So whilst this is going on, the tower's here, doing tiny, tiny little bits of damage. Still got their aggro, and Kugath, I don't know, he's kind of on his way. Alright, they're done. Alright, let's get reorganized. Uh, we probably don't want to be shooting to begin with here, because shooting from this angle, they're just not really that much in a blob, and shooting them in a blob is going to be much better. Uh, also got to keep in mind that the um, the soul grinders are going to be coming over here soon. Keep the Tsar guard out of it while dealing with the artillery stuff. Okay. Uh, I need to get back over to Kugath. And we'll just see how we go. At least we distracted him for a bit. Almost got the points needed for this. So yeah, it, does, it doesn't do that much damage. And uh, I was kind of hoping it would actually shoot the towers. Dodging the uh, soul grinder is going to be tricky, but I'll see what I can do. These guys are on fire at will. Okay, uh, just, uh, yeah, keep the damage units here, so it shoots at, you know, weakened units. Okay, you may fire at will now. Okay, 
Alright, there's the supplies that we need. So yeah, you know, it's softening them up a little bit. Just moving around like this just makes them a little bit less accurate. Okay, and then ceasefire. Because the only thing I was worried about there was the uh, the spawn of Nurgle. Uh, they're going to destroy the towers there. Oh, well, they did a decent amount of damage. Can always recap it later. These guys here aren't going to last much longer. But most of the ammo is spent. Alright, how are we doing over here? Gotta go get Kugat's attention. Oh, he started shooting. Oh, he's shooting at... How the hell is he hitting them? That's the whole reason I hid them, was so that they wouldn't get hit. Don't need to pop down a heal just yet. We're good. Although that one's unlimited, so you keep using that. Ugh. There's just nothing I can do about the Soul Grinder right now. Alright, come on, you gotta get Kugat's attention. I may have to, like, feign a charge into him to get his attention. But yeah, don't shoot at this crap here, it's just Nurglings for the most part. Come on, start shooting. Okay, good, we got his attention again. He's shooting this way. Awesome. Alright, all I have to do now is <laughs> just try to dodge it as best we can. Alright, the Soul Grinder is almost out of ammo, aiming for this guy here. Good, we full on dodged that one. I think that's just one shot remaining. Got hit a little bit there, but that's okay. I'd much rather this guy get hit than the Tsar Guard. Okay, everybody, we resume firing at will now. Uh, we need some of you to shoot at that. Okay, good, that's done. Okay, somebody just got wiped out. So I expect our cavalry to start coming in soon. Hopefully, not at the same time as theirs. Okay, this is good, this is good. He's got 11 shots left. Shame it draws our attention away from the main fight, but we've left things in such a state that it shouldn't get overrun too quickly. Okay, the unit must not have gotten wiped out. It just shattered. Okay, no, there it is. Okay, we came in at an okay time. Just get the fuck out of there. Unfortunately, I can't move my reinforcements to a different zone. Because the, the marker is not there. Okay, time for a heal. Oh, another one came in. Oh, get out of there. That one wasn't quite as well timed. Oh, did they put us? Come on, come on. Move, 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 move. I need you to recap points later because we've got to preserve balance of power. Okay, a bit of damage on this, but at least uh, I don't think Kugath is making the best use of his ammo by shooting this unit. Okay, I've got enough for another tower. And Kugath is down to four shots left. Good, the more they use the Curse of the Slug on this, the better, I guess. Yep, get them over here. Still got one more reinforcement coming. Bounce of Power is... About even. Uh, it's it's in their favor, but only by a little bit. I have no idea if our units are shooting at anything effective. It doesn't really matter that much as long as they're getting kills, which they definitely are. Because the tower will will uh, cover the, a lot of the ground once. Uh, that one there's just part of the garrison. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, 
Okay, that's the last one. Just get out of there now. Alright, now I can focus on this, finally. Alright, you need to be shooting at the Plague Toads. How are we going here? Alright, and we can start bringing in the, uh, the Tsar Guard now, since nothing's going to shoot them. Shoot the Soul Grinder. And we can... We can build another tower over here, because it didn't seem to worry about that one. They may have only kept that t uh, position there because we had towers, but we'll build the 1400 one there, because this is so much more powerful. Um, shame about this guy here, but he's only part of the garrison. He doesn't really matter. That being said, let's, let's try to get the other three out of there. Oh, yeah, they're completely surrounded. That's a shame. I may not be able to get them out of that because they're kind of stuck. Alright, now what we've got to do is just hold them back as best we can. Yeah, maybe best don't blow up too much. Okay, I might be able to get the level 7 one out of that. The other one routed. Yeah, Nogal's got a lot of mass. And we are really... Oh, crap. Really out, out of ammo. Come on, get out of there. Alright, Bouncer Power is meh. Just gotta hold them back as long as possible. Alright, we've almost got enough for another tower. Uh, this tower over here should be shooting. Try to kill this Lord here, he's cast some damn spells on us. Okay, try to get these two back. Just about out of it. So the extra melee defense here is really helping. We've still got the Ice Guide as well. They do magic damage. Keep them out of it for as long as possible. Set, uh, yeah, just keep, keep reserves. As long as they don't cap this point here, that's all that matters. Alright, but we've got all of our cavalry back over here. Now we need to start recapping points to get more supplies and get more towers. Might actually be better to shoot into the big blob here. Just kill as many of them as possible. The soul grind is kind of difficult. Is it healing? Right, every time this guy casts, he's healing single entities. That's doing alright there. Cool guys. I reckon we will get overrun here. So it's going to be up to the cavalry to just make sure we don't lose all, all uh, points at the same time. Go and ham on those spells. And they've still got one more unit to come in. Alright, let's go recap this point over here. I really want to get rid of the soul grinder, but I just I ran out of ammo. I'll keep these two out of it. I don't think he's going to be a Mortis Engine just yet, but he's still going to be a big problem. I think I prefer her to fight over this way. Yeah, we're definitely getting overrun. Come on, Tower, shoot at Kugath, because he's worth tons of balance of power. This Soul Grinder here is just not taking damage. Guys here have more melee defense. Just keep them out of it. Okay, Soul Grind is starting to go down. We've still got a lot of troops. We're, we're okay. I know the bounce power doesn't look too good, but as long as the battle goes slowly, we're okay. Let this guy go. I can't believe he's even still alive. Come 
Good, this tower here is doing some damage. Alright, we've captured another tower. That's great. Let's go capture another one. Try to keep their leadership up as much as possible. Beast of Nurgle. That's not good. Keep holding as best you can, Sargard. You know, Kugas is going down, but he's takes it takes a long time to kill him. Alright, we'll have to go around this way here. Get to that one. Alright, we've got access to another tower here. Do I have anybody that routed came back? No. Where is this guy? He's still running around over here. Oh, get them out of there, get them out of there. I needed to keep them close to the army to keep the leadership, but then they just pushed right through. Get them out of there. They should be faster than Nogalite units. Yeah, we're totally getting overrun here. I just hope the army losses doesn't get triggered. Which, at this stage here... I mean, we've done a lot of damage to them. Just got to wait and see. Ah, oh, they've captured that point. All right, get uh, get this one here. If he can get out of the city, that'd be so good because he can still heal a fair bit. Just get out. He's he's getting out. I'll oh, just get him out. Uh, yeah, you can stay there, that's fine. Um, I should come over this way. Good, we've actually got all points except for our initial defensive position. Good, get out. Get out and rally, I'll, I'll run you out this way. There we go. Quick, I need more bounce power. Run, 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 run. Just run, get out, get out. This position here is fucked. Hopefully you've just done enough to ensure that we uh, don't lose when this position here falls to shit. Come on, rally. Alright, they got some Chaos Furies over here. It would be... Mm, I reckon they can handle it, but let's see. Doesn't look like we're getting the army losses inflicted on us. That's it, just run out. Leave it up to the cavalry now. Hopefully we've done enough. I really need that soul grinder dead, because if it dies, that's a fast unit. Did I get it? No, it's still there. There we go, the soul grinder's gone. That's good. Uh, Targa, just leave, just leave, just leave. Just preserve balance of power, leave. This position here is fucked. This is how Kislev is able to... Oh, you're not going to be able to outrun that. You're going to have to fight. This is how Kislev can win the battle after having already lost the battle. Good. With every shot that lands... It reduces our, our, the likelihood of us having the army losses inflicted on us. That's it. Just get into the forest there where they can't see you. No point trying to recap this right now. Alright, we've got enough for another tower. Let's do it. It's also kind of important to have our towers spread out across the various different cap points. The more this guy here can recover, it preserves a bit of our bounce of power. That's it. A bunch of towers shooting at them, that's what we want to see. 
I don't know what they're doing there. I think they're still trying to run down someone. Could you try to kill a beast of Nurgle? That would be good. Because otherwise it's going to regenerate. Oh, keep running. I reckon we're teetering right on the edge of army losses there. Now remember, they can't win unless they get the army losses on us. If we don't let them do any damage to us, that's why it was important to get rid of all their fast units first, which we haven't yet done, but we've almost done it. Um, and then they have to... They either have to inflict the army losses or they have to uh, capture all points. I'm not going to let them capture all points. We just have to hold on to one point now. Doesn't matter which point. This is why minor settlements easier to defend than major settlements. Coming in over this way. It's good that got destroyed. They're trying too hard to like run our units down rather than um oh, come on, if you just hit that it might start it crumbling. Rather than capping our points, they're trying to kill us. But yeah, as they spread out their troops, that's not ideal. I can't be everywhere at once. And if we run back up here to recap these points, we could get trapped. Oh, okay, just run out that way, just run. Yeah, we don't we don't want to fight them. Just wanna hide. Okay. Remember, don't engage. Because I think they're trying to inflict the army losses. They know that they're close. It's okay if one or two towers get destroyed. What's going on over here? Yeah, try to stop them if you can. Chaos keep doing their thing. The Chaos Furies don't need to be wiped out because they've got no capping power, but if they harass us, that's a problem, but that's not what they're trying to do at the moment. And this one over here, they weren't trying to cap it. That's good. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will shoot them, because they'll go down pretty quick. Because they could be a pain in the ass. They could lock us down at a really crucial moment. So I just feel like that's a wild card that we should just get rid of right now. I don't even want to like cycle charge into them just in case we're so close to losing. Even charging into them and taking a tiny little bit of damage might cause the army losses on us. Actually, those plate bearers are more of a threat right now. Come over here just for a moment, just to counteract the the capping of that. We fight for Ursun. He's left true power. That's it. Just counteract that a little bit. Someone's gone. And they're goofing around. They don't know what to do. They're too slow. Yeah, let's try to get rid of these lords. Actually, no, no, the beast of no. Good. Oh. Yeah, we want to get rid of their fastest units. <laughs> They're trying to play a game of capping, but I got more capping power than them. Alright, let's swing it back around over here. Alright, we got enough uh we got enough stuff for another tower. Um Alright. Why not? That's it, just preserve this. If they're not coming at us, don't need to worry too much. Yeah, they're going for this one. Don't bother trying to demolish the tower, just keep 
keep shooting. We'll just get more supplies later. It's working. Alright. When they give a big yell like that, you can tell they're uh, charging. So I may need to actually give up this point. There are only Nurglings here. Alright, come back around over here. I may need to stop this. Oh, we're in melee. We don't want that. Because they don't even need favorable engagements to win now. They just need engagements. We just need to deny them every opportunity to inflict damage to us. Yeah, I need to get over here and stop this. I need that point. And since it's only Nurglings, we can get rid of it fairly easily. Whereas this one here, there's... I might be able to slow them down a bit more. Because with every one of them that dies, it slows the capping point down a little bit. Good, we stopped them. <laughs> We've still got this point here. And we got to keep this one, nice. Alright, we got enough for another point. There's another tower position over here, which, again, probably not going to be able to make great use of, but what else am I going to build? Guess I could build some crappy barricades around the place just to keep them busy with something to attack. Yeah, we got to be very careful about recapping these points up here. Did okay, they did end up capping that. Good, but we got to keep that one. That's good. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Get out of that. Bouncer power's improved a little bit. We can afford to have a few crappy engagements now. Good, that's getting shot down. I don't want to just give this up, but at the same time, I'm not going to fight for it. Because we got other towers being built here. I either need to cancel those towers or sneak around here and just prevent them capping. There we go. There we go. We slowed it down a bit. Every second that we're in here is buying us more time, more shots to be shot. Which means fewer bloody demons to deal with. Do the other tower shooting, nice. Bouncer power slowly moving towards our favor, but we can't be engaging them in melee. Come on. Good, this point here is... Oh, don't touch that. Good, it's fully ours again. Nice. Alright, watch out about this. Come back around over here. Need to make sure that doesn't fall. Now, Lords have a lot of capping power. Even if they've only got one hit point. So we need to be aiming at them. Kugat's slowly going down. I kind of want to go and recap all this position here now. Because it's poorly defended. Although there's a beast of Nurgle there. Um, I can't be running that way. It'll just slow me down too much. Yeah, they're only using curses like no big deal. That just slows us down. Yeah, they got that point. We gotta do something. We've only got two points at the moment. I need to go and either recap a point or yeah, I gotta do something. Damn, there's another beast of Nurgle here. Yeah, go for. How did they get hidden? Got to preserve the spot here, or run around them and get to a different spot. I got to get around them. I'm not going to hold that position. Get around over here. 
Okay, we're in trouble now. If I don't cap another point before we lose this point, we're in big trouble. I need this point now. I've essentially only got one point. We can't be fighting it. We have to hold on to this position here. Just for a few seconds. While this other one here goes and caps one point. I may have to actually fight the Beast of Nurgle. Here, come in here and shoot this for us. I, I need to get rid of this. Okay, bounce power is okay. We can afford a little bit of bounce power loss, but we have to hold this point. It's our only one. Wait, what happened over here? No, we lost that. Oh no, they they gave up on this. I thought they capped it. Okay. Well then, it, since I didn't cap it, let's get out of here. Go back around that way. Let them have this one. Let's go, go, go. Good. The other points are getting capped. Bounce power is even. That doesn't mean we should go into melee. Not with these crappy cavalry. There, a couple of guys stuck. Try to get them out of that. <laughs> How do you not see that there? Come on. Alright, they get out of it. Alright, I need to go recap that. Good, this position got capped. And let's get another tower built. Yeah, that one got captured. <laughs> gotta, gotta fight tooth and nail for these damn towers. It really is a tower defense game right here. Oh no, I don't mind this. Okay, recap that point. It's a good thing we went up against Lanesh here. That'd be a real pain. Uh, these guys might actually be able to beat the uh, the general there. Oh, uh, I forgot about you, sorry. My bad. Uh, yeah, we got it. We got that one. That's good. Okay, try to slow down that capping point. Alright, we've got a fair few positions now, so we're relatively safe. And with every unit of theirs that gets wiped out, they're reducing their ability to actually capture points. Yeah. Don't just let them have this one. Which I think they're going to get it. It doesn't matter if there's the army losses. We got them. Yeah, I can see why this guy had trouble with this battle. Not easy. Not an easy fight, even against Nurgle. Early game Nurgle is really easy to deal with, but there was some tough stuff in there. Really had to utilize the cavalry to win the battle after it had already been lost. If we had kept the cavalry up in the defensive position to begin with, they would have done nothing. Shame about the two heroes there, uh, but I imagine he just recruited them to hold the city. And if we had lost the battle, they're dead anyway. But yeah, this one is specifically, he was routing for a long time and he just kept routing into the enemy. And uh, you got a Talisman of Endurance. I hope there weren't any items on them, because if there were, they're dead and they're gone. But at least uh, Kugath Plague Father won't bother you for a little bit now. And here's some money to compensate. Get some more Patriarchs. Campaign itself looks a bit iffy. What turn number is it? Surely this is the second rift opening because there's no way Kugath would show up by before turn 30. Especially with like a soul grinder. If I had to guess I'd say this is the second wave. Yeah it is, it's the second wave. Still, it's a fairly early Kugath invasion. Um... This is not good. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not good. Yeah, right now, probably would want lightning strike. <laughs> Can you... What? Sally out against this. Why are you waiting? Oh, oh my god, look at this. Who cares about the Kossars? The motherland fights as well. There you go. You should have done that last turn. Holy crap. There we go. Saved you another disaster. And that's a, that's a um, Lord of Change that's just completely dead. They are no threat. There you go. Lift that siege for you. You can keep recruiting. Um, if you're going to recruit Kossars, that's fine. Uh, but you should put on a veteran warrior first. Because that way they'll come with more experience. There you go. Alright, yeah. Don't wait for them to attack you because they're... Um, defending Kislev is not necessarily a guaranteed win. Plus they were starving you out. They may have starved you out for another five turns. Sally, if you can sally out and win, do it. Especially in walled cities. And now we can continue to upgrade um, Kislev and stuff. And you got loads of money and experience from that. So, yeah. Don't be passive. Don't be passive against the enemy. You've got to be aggressive. You know, don't just wait for them to come to you. Because I might starve you out. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you. And we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.